Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, got some parts. Got some parts. I'm gonna build a, a dust collector from a vacuum. Uh, it takes two five gallon buckets. It takes three inch and a half PVC couplings. One inch and a half PVC 90. One inch and a half PVC 45. And two two inch rubber caps with a hose clamp on them. You trim the one bucket down so it fits down into the other bucket and then you put your fittings in the top. I'm just going to go ahead and get started and, um, and make it. Alright so on, on the bucket that's going to go on the top I'm going to cut the handle out of it. All right, handles out. This part is going to sit down in the other bucket so I got to Cut that lip off. Uh, after that, what you do is just go around the rim and uh, shave it down. Basically, putting a 45 on it. Alright, so this bucket is the top, and hopefully if everything worked out correctly, it should, yep, fit down in the other bucket. Perfect. Perfect. So you got two $3 buckets from Lowe's right now, so you're six bucks in, and I think all my fittings uh, include in one length of an uh, inch and a half, even though I only need this much of this. But for a five foot piece, it was... Three dollars and sixty-one cent, and for a two-dollar piece, a two-foot piece, it was three dollars and fifty-eight cent. For three cent more, I got three foot more of pipe. So I bought it because you can always use PVC for something. Um, so I got this was four bucks, about just say four bucks, and I think another ten dollars, not even ten dollars in fittings. Um, this whole setup is is less than twenty dollars. I'm going to use my Forstner bits and then uh, I'll just open them up as needed for to make the PVC fit in there. I should have added these to the material list. It's, uh, they're two and a quarter inch, three of them. What they do is uh, they go in the bucket. It'll push into here into the coupling. And then that'll fit down in there. We'll open that hole up just enough for this to fit in there. And that's all that'll hold it is compression. And then the piece on the bottom will hold it too. Open that up just enough and then that will fit down in there tight. And that's one in. I'll do the same thing on the other one. I'll be... Okay, now in the middle, the one that's in the middle, we put this coupling, the second coupling goes on that to hold that in there. And that's it for that. That's what holds that. That ain't going anywhere. And now we'll put the last piece together before we install it. So you come off, <clears throat> you take the 90 and the 45 and if you want you can lay them flat if they don't have alignment marks usually they do uh, These ones don't have alignment marks, but I can easily just um throw a line on there and You just want to go about a quarter of a turn off of that Once that's together and um I'm gonna put these together tight and so that'll come off of the top and this will come off the side of it and you want to go about a quarter turn and we can test it and what it'll do is it'll have it blow onto the side of the bucket I hope you can see that 
I'm actually going to turn it a little more. Uh, that's probably that's probably pretty good. I think a quarter of a turn, a, not a quarter of a turn, but about a quarter of an inch, is good. And uh, I'll give that a little tap on there. And I'm going to throw this on here. And so this, the 90 goes to the top. As you can see, it, it goes to the side, but it blows into the side. It doesn't blow uh, straight down. I might actually turn it a little more than that. I think it needs to sit a little tighter. Okay, so I got it turned, and um, it's in there. And what I'm thinking is that when you do this, you might want to put this a little further inboard toward the middle. Uh, I'm about a half inch from the edge. You might be able to get it to shoot better against the wall if you go with about a full inch. I don't know. It, it just looks like I could. It would have been tighter. I could have got a better uh, blow toward the side if I would have went a little further out into the middle. So, something to think about if you build one of these. I'm gonna take in and put a set screw in here also to hold this so that that 45 can't spin. And uh, I'm just gonna eyeball it up. Actually, I'm not gonna eyeball it up. I'm gonna use tape measure and get it right. Nine and a half, I'll hit it. You can see it with the light, but um, that doesn't really work that good. Maybe. I'm going to try it with the light and see what happens. I believe I'll hit it. Got it right in there. So I keep that one from moving. That ain't going anywhere because that'll be the one pulling the dirt in. And now all that's left is to uh, this one is coming off my vacuum. This one's going to go right in the center of this guy. And then I'll put my secondary hose that's going to pull the debris in, in that hole. Now I'm just going to cut these with a knife. I'm going to cut inside that line so it's tight. Perfect. That's perfect. Nice and tight. Now we'll mark and cut the other one. So, I mean, that's it. That's it. We put the buckets together and we're going to see how this thing works. Let's see what it does. So, you know, you got the one coming in, and you vacuum with the other one. You put the camera inside, see what it does. Let's see. All right, so here's the inside of my shop vac right now. Pretty empty. There's my filter. My filter's kind of dirty. Um, it's not a brand new filter. And then here's a pile of junk. I'm gonna vacuum up real quick, and let's see how much of it gets stuck in the five-gallon drum, the five-gallon buckets, and how much makes it into the shop vac. So you can see right here, it's actually blowing in and blowing down pretty good. So I guess the angle that I put it on wasn't too bad after all. 
Uh, it's going down and you don't see a lot of dust flying around in the bucket, so it's going down the bottom and staying there. That's good. All right, <clears throat> just got done. Let's see what's in the box. Let's see what's in the vacuum. It's a Stanley four horsepower, uh, ten gallon, wet dry. I got this thing on sale for like twenty bucks or like twenty five bucks, thirty bucks. I think. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I got a little bit of stuff in there, but I think my five gallon bucket's probably almost full by now. But uh, nowhere near what I sucked up. I mean. For sure, nowhere near what I sucked up. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, this thing's probably full because I didn't empty it after the initial stuff I picked up. Now I'm gonna make some kind of base for this thing. So, oh, got like half a bucket. I think my system might be a little messed up. I have to take a better look at the video and see what the cyclone effect is in there. But there you can see like all the dust and everything's in here. Maybe about $15. And so I got cyclone, cyclone style uh, dust collector from a shop vac. And hopefully that keeps this vacuum from burning up like my other one did. But yeah, I hope that helps you guys out. Um, any questions on how I did it, um, just get, hit me up in the comments. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I, I know I didn't go like in depth on everything I was doing, but I think it's self-explanatory to the do-it-yourselfers. Uh, it worked pretty good though. Uh, I hope I hope this helps somebody out. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.